So the closest point constraint can be used to constrain an object relative to another object in space. So how that simply applies to this is I'm going to go ahead and just simply select one part, press B on our keyboard so that I can get the soft selection all the way up and then I'm going to position this up in space. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this object, probably just simply delete the history and freeze transformations and go over to constraint and then select closest point. I'm selecting only two many just to make sure that the input and the closest position locator is turned on and I'm going to simply hit apply and close. From here I can simply select the position input which I'm going to use to control the position of the other object in space relative to this object. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sphere which I'll position in a particular point and then I'm going to make a copy of the same sphere. I'm selecting the first object which is the first constraint and I'm going to select the sphere and go over to constraint point and then make sure that maintain offset is turned off and hit apply. I'll do the same thing for this object as well. And now you see once I go ahead and select this uh, object and start moving it around, you see this object is constrained to the position of this object. This simply works close to what it looks like in a point constraint, but the difference is this is constrained to an object and it's going to follow this other controller wherever you move in space. You can use this type of constraint for several things like maybe an object following a certain path or maybe an object climbing through a certain path or maybe a ship going through water or something but this constraint can be really helpful and can be used in uh, various uh, rigging exercises. If you have questions about this video please don't forget to drop them in the comment section down below. If you love this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Peace.